Hi guys, today I'm going to give you a little tour of my makeup room and show you how I store everything. This is not a regular amount of makeup to have and I do keep things well beyond their expiry date for reference for my blog and YouTube videos. I'm not suggesting that you would need to have this much storage but if you have a large collection like me I think it works really really well. At the end of the video I will take you into my bedroom where you'll see what I use day to day and a more realistic idea of how much makeup I would need if I wasn't a blogger. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so let's just do a little overview of the room. This is the section that you would normally see behind me in my videos. The two counters that I have behind me, the two units, are called Alex. It's two different versions of the Alex uh, from Ikea, and this is the six draw wide unit instead of the tall unit. Um, I would definitely recommend this for makeup if you've got the space. I did try them stacked on top of each other, which they work just as well, but I wanted a surface behind me in my videos, and I sit on the floor. Uh, whereas if you're short on space, you can stack them on top of each other. I would just, I think they're really, really brilliant storage for makeup because they are shallow drawers, you can lay things out flat and you can just get so much in them. These two drawer units here are from Muji. I'm sure you will have seen these in other people's videos and in my previous collection videos as well. They're actually four sets of two, so that's one, that's one, that's one, and that's one. Here is my mirror, which I usually have stacked up there where my iPad is, but I've been watching some videos whilst I've been tidying this room in preparation for this video. And then I just have a stack of magazines and our broadband modem thing on top. What is it called? Uh, a wireless router. Uh, and that's where that lives because we only have one telephone point in our house and it's in this room. Moving across the unit, you can also see my makeup brushes. There, they're in two candle jars. I also have some e.l.f. makeup brush cleaner there. The two vases that you see are both from Ikea. And these flowers, I believe, I bought from Wilkinson's. The candle is from Kringle Candles, and the little one is from the Yankee Candle, um, the mini one. But the Kringle Candle is Coconut Pineapple. Further along still, I have uh, another unit from Ikea. This unit here is called the Expedit, and it's just the cube. But what I have in here, I will show you in a second a little bit more in detail. On top of this unit, I have more jewellery. I actually used to use this room a lot for getting ready. So I put in here somewhere to store my jewellery. So I basically just hammered nails into the wall. I know you can do it in different ways. People have done it with cork boards if you don't want to put anything permanent in the wall. But I really like that there. And then below that I have, this is supposed to be for um, mugs. And I have my jewellery on there. I have some boxes below it. Um, kind of ring boxes and things. Moving along again, I have my windowsill, which has not got anything special on it. It has uh, a basket with some makeup bags. Um, the baskets that I have here, the white baskets, I use a lot. But when I'm filming a video downstairs, I could have so much makeup that I've brought down to make the video. Then it's really difficult to kind of transport it all back upstairs. So I just tend to throw it all in a basket and put it to one side and eventually it makes its way back upstairs again. So that's what I use those mostly for. I have a couple of mugs from uh, New York and Los Angeles. It's got some bits and pieces and cotton pads in, um, and uh, the white chest here, or the cream chest here, actually was from an Estelle, Estee Lauder Christmas box set, um, but I don't think there's anything in that right now. Further along into the corner of the room, there you have my uh, dress form, which I actually got from eBay. So many people have asked me about this. It's not a special dress form. Um, I bought it when I was trying to make clothes. I do have a sewing machine and I did dabble with that for a little while, but it didn't last <laughs> very long at all. Um, so yeah, I bought that from eBay uh, a long time ago. I don't know what the seller was. And the collage of makeup, um, or the collage of magazines rather behind it, I just put together because I wanted something to go in that corner. Then I have um, a big wardrobe set built in here. The top one has a lot of materials and as I mentioned my sewing machine and things at the top and then this one has in my light box and uh, handbags and stuff. So I'm going to quickly go through all of the drawers. The whole point of me doing individual collection videos ahead of this is that I can then refer you to different videos. So check out the info bar below uh, and you will be able to see you know my eyes collection, my cheek collection, my, it sounds like I have a collection of people's cheeks. Um, you know what I mean, my foundation collection, lipstick collections. I've done full collection videos of each individual category, so I'm not going into that here. I'm just gonna show you each of the drawers. So, first of all, we have all kind of bronzers, blushes, cheek color, etc. Then I have in here um, all of my kind of eye pencils, loads of different mishmash of, mishmash? of um, eye stuff, basically. One thing I do wanna mention is this tray that I got here was from Wilkinson's. This was from Ikea, I don't remember the name of it, and this also is from Ikea. This was basically, um, and there's another one that you'll see later on that's empty that you can see a little bit better. It was for spice jars, and it's kind of curved, so it's perfect if you've got a lot of products like this. 
that need to be kind of slotted against each other. This is all of my lip glosses. Anything that I wouldn't class as a lipstick goes in this drawer. Here are all my eye palettes. This is an empty drawer, but you can see here, this is one of the empty spice rack things that I was talking about. It's perfect for holding things like um, individual shadows and that kind of thing. So absolutely amazing, would recommend that in a heartbeat. The last drawer down here is nail polish, and this is probably the most special drawer for me. <laughs> um, I've pretty much filled this drawer up, and my plan is to expand into the drawer on the other side. I think it's safe to, to kind of put them in drawers when you are using them, and they are basically on the floor, because the floor is supporting the bottom of the drawer, and it's not gonna break them. Whereas if I was using a drawer higher up, I would be a little bit nervous that it would bow and break. So I wouldn't recommend that you put them higher up in the drawer unit, but I'm really happy with where they are here. Moving over to the second drawer unit, I have all of my foundations, powders, concealers, um, kind of all my bases, if you will. This is another eye drawer. So I have a few palettes in here, mostly mascaras, um, and kind of things that I would probably reach for more often. This is a bit of a jumble drawer. It's generally things that I need to review. So I've put things in here that I've either spoken about. I mean, some of the stuff is kind of just, I don't know where to put it, uh, but some of these things down here I've got recently or they've been sent to me and I need to review them soon. So rather than just put them in a basket like I used to, I thought I would use up one of the empty drawers. This in theory is my eyelash drawer, but I don't really have very many false eyelashes. And so it's not very full. Um, again, I wanted to, in fact, is there anything else in here that I need to talk about? This again is from the Wilkinson's um, stationery section. I wanted to talk more about the actual storage in this video. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. This um, is actually a, a cutlery divider from Ikea. They do two and this is the smaller size. Uh, this again is the Ikea one. This is from Muji. It is a drawer divider. You can get, um, I think there were things that came in this, little plastic dividers that went into these sections. And I also used to use this as a nail polish rack. If you stand it on its side, it's kind of like a shelving unit for nail polish. I, I used to really like using it that way. This drawer I'm also really pleased with because it has all of my travel items in it. So anything that I get that's a sample size or an actual sachet sample like these, I used to just kind of have them hanging around the house and now I have a whole drawer full of them. So if I'm going away for the weekend or a longer trip, I know where to find all of my miniatures. And the bottom drawer again in here is completely empty because I am actually waiting to put more nail polish in that as and when I do overflow. The two dividers that I have in here is just basically storing these dividers. This one I think I got from Asda, it's just a cutlery tray, and the other one I got from eBay. And I got it originally to store my jewellery, it had kind of a perspex top, uh, but I don't know what it was specifically called. I mean, anything, if you're talking about kind of tool storage or things to store, um, nuts and bolts, anything like that is perfect, and you can find loads and loads of different solutions online. Moving into these little sections of uh, the Expedit unit. I haven't actually done anything in the way of a collection video on these. Um, I used to do uh, what's in my beauty cupboard videos and this is kind of now my beauty cupboard. This is my reserve. I have my things that I'm trying to use up at the moment or things that I am using in my uh, bedroom which I'll show you at the end of the video but this is my reserve. So this is where when I run out of something I come to this reserve or if I want to review something there's lots of things in here that I haven't yet reviewed um, or, you know, if I buy a shampoo, it goes in here until I've used the last one up. So the top one, like I say, this is all kind of body slash skincare kind of products. And the one on the bottom is all hair care. If you would like me to go into this in more detail in another video, I will. But like I say, I haven't gone into this already. Unlike all of the drawers, all of my uh, makeup collection, I haven't done this in advance. So if you want me to do a video on this, I will. Lastly, I'll give you a little peek down there. That is mainly fake tans and like I say, kind of gingerbread or Christmassy kind of themed bubble bath and stuff. Things that I don't use that often. So I throw them all down there. So, you know, they're out of sight. If I needed to, I could get any of those boxes because I have some storage boxes and things down there as well. I can pull this out really, really easily because um, it's not kind of fixed or anything. It just pulls out on the rug um, if I needed to. But for the most part, I can reach for things that I need. So hopefully that's answered any questions that you have about storage. As I've said, and I know I'm repeating myself, I have gone into individual collections because I know I'm gonna get questions and I just wanna kind of really hammer it home that I have already done these videos. I will link them all below. So please check out the info bar before asking any questions about individual products. Uh, but if you still have any questions, then please feel free to ask away. But I hope that this has answered any questions about how I store things. So this is my bedroom. And you know, I'm keeping it real for you. The bed is not made. I did make the bed, but then the baby rolled all over it. And so I just thought, what's the point? 
uh, and I have my laptop here waiting for me to edit this video once I've finished. So yeah, this is my bedroom and this unit here, I have all built-in wardrobes. This is Lee's only wardrobe right here. I have all the rest of them, which is this mirrored part, this one here, there's a corner one there and a double one there. So that's a lot of space and I've decided to use the mirrored part to store my makeup and hair supplies. So I'll get into that now. These shelves are actually shoe storage and I do have shoes stored in the other side of this um, cabinet. Uh, but I have some boots on top of there. Then I have, uh, this is basically all of my products that I'm trying to use or I am using uh, from hair stuff to body stuff. It's pretty much hair stuff up here. So I have kind of oils in that left hand corner along with some grips and clips and bits and pieces there. And then, you know, other hair products. I have my deodorant and a body lotion, but other than that, I think it's pretty much hair stuff. Oh, and Cocoa Brown Tan, which is by the way, the best self tan in the entire world. I did a blog post on it and I'll link that below. Um, and then I get into my everyday makeup. So the lighting's not fantastic because the cupboard door is actually blocking pretty much any light that I could get in here. But you know, I, I think you can pretty much see what I've got here. Uh, we have a brush um, selection. I suppose these are my brushes that I love the most and the brushes that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. Not every single one, but you know, ones that I would think I wonder where that brush is. So I've put them all there. Uh, I then have on the right-hand side, a selection of kind of eye creams, day creams, things that I might use prior to applying my makeup. Then this section here, uh, these glossy box lids that I'm using to uh, organise my makeup on this shelf. Uh, this section here has got in it foundation and base products. It also has any bronzers that I might be using and blushes. And then on the left hand side I have eye products and lip products. The next shelf has on it my hair tools that I would use most often and my hair brushes. Uh, so I have some straighteners, some curlers, although the curlers would normally be much narrower than that. That's because I most recently curled my hair extensions um, and I think they are, I want to say Remington, but I'm not sure. Um, my hair brushes that I have are a Denman regular brush. Uh, the big brush, I don't think it's of any special anything, it's probably just from Tesco or something, it's really old. And the one on the left hand side is a macadamia kind of tangle teaser which I've just got and I'm not massively keen on. Uh, and that's a Babyliss, I think it's called an Elegance, my hair dryer. The shelf below that has a little letter rack or something in it and I used to keep my fake tan bits and pieces in there but now I keep them in a different room. I haven't really found anything to put in there yet. The things in the middle are kind of travel size bits and pieces that I'm trying to use up, shower gels and stuff um, because we've been running out of shower gel and just I put it there so Lee knows where it is more than anything. And then on the right hand side is my bag of empties that I'm keeping at the moment so that's where I store my empties for videos. This little area here is where I was storing my makeup for a little while and you may have seen a makeup collection here. Uh, but this is now where I just keep my perfumes on top and then the actual drawer unit below stores kind of clothes, pyjamas, etc. Uh, I will do a perfume video if you'd like but I'm just going to kind of show you in this video where I store them um, and this is pretty much it. This is all of my perfumes. I have all of them out all the time. Uh, I'm not worried about them getting in the light at the end of the day. If they go off, they go off but it's never happened to me. And I just like to be able to see them uh, because I don't wear the same perfume every day. At the moment I'm kind of flitting between Love Struck by Vera Wang and Taylor Swift's original Wonderstruck but you know I could wear any different one on any day so I like to have them all because I'm more likely to use them all that way. I didn't intend to be in this video so apologies for my shiny face and messy hair but I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope that it answered any questions that you had. If you do have any further questions then please ask them in the comments and I will try to get back to as many people as possible. But like I say I have done individual collections and if you want to see any other in-depth videos of anything then please let me know and I will try my best to accommodate all of those. So yeah thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!